Hello and happy Friday. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and this is Fluke Fridays episode number 101. What we're going to go over today is how to download and update the firmware if you have a power logger from Fluke, a Fluke 17.3 series, so a 1730, a 1732, a 1734, 1736, or 1738. So um, it's going to be a very similar process if you were downloading uh, firmware for any of the 17 series, the 1740 series or the 1770 series, but today it is the 1730 series we're going to talk about. So first thing you're going to do is go to fluke.com and go under support, download software and updates. Now I've already done this, but I'm just going to show you where it is. So you see right here, 1730 2, 34, 36, and 38 loggers. We're going to click this. And now you can see you've got where you can download the firmware. So you'll click here, download that bin file. And we're going to follow the instructions, and you guys can follow along with this because we're going to need to make a folder that says 17 Fluke 173X. So I'm just going to copy this, Control C, and we're going to go over. So my actual flash drive is actually called a 17. 48, but I'm going to create this folder. So, new folder. And there we go. Once I have that, then I'm going to go ahead and take the bin file that I have downloaded. And I have one downloaded already that is actually uh, newer than the one on the web right now, but this one will be coming out shortly. Once it's now in the Fluke 17.3x folder under your flash drive, we can now eject our flash drive and take it over to the 17.30 series and update the firmware. So I'll see you over there. Okay, now we're over at the 17.30 series. We're going to take the flash drive we had and already loaded the firmware onto and plug it into the USB port. Before that, I did want to mention anytime you're updating firmware in any Fluke tool, make sure you plug it in. Don't just run on battery power because if you're halfway through your firmware update and the battery were to die, bad news bears. You get to send it into Fluke and wait a long time before things get fixed. But if we just have uh, constant power, we have a much better chance of not having anything go wrong, which we won't have anything go wrong today. So here we go. I'm going to plug this in. Get it so you can see now it says update firmware i'm going to scroll down to that click enter and it's going to say do you want to update the firmware and i'm going to say yes you can either hit f1 or the touch screen either way or i guess that's f4 sorry and then confirm again Okay, you can see it turned the screen off and it's turning back on. That was every bit of two minutes that I waited for it to update. Um, now it's reloading. So I think we are going to be there soon. Okay, that took probably another two minutes to get to this screen before we got into here. And now we're going through the setup wizard for the first time. We can say English, USA. At least this is where I live. And now we have updated our firmware. And we can check that by, let's see. Uh, probably over here. Memory and settings, instrument settings. Oh, info. And firmware version 2.1.4. So we now have the new updated firmware. So we're good to go. Hopefully this was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
Don't forget, if you've watched more than three of my videos, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week.